I'm going to say almost everything I do is for a reason. The reason that we kind of had the Strata and the Ivara thing yesterday is because you can actually get a hold of it next week for very, very cheap. Free. All you have to do is basically watch a stream off for and make sure that your Warframe account is linked to your Twitch account and basically on Monday at 1pm ET watch for 30 minutes or more to get the barrel for the Stalter on Tuesday at 4pm ET watch for 30 minutes or so and get the stock then on Wednesday at 10am ET same thing 30 minutes or more get the receiver Thursday at 7pm ET the main blueprint will drop the entire Stalter will be dropping this week during the whole community streams at twitch.tv slash warframe if you watch for 30 minutes or more. It has to be over 30 minutes, it can't be less than. Just say that one. But you have to make sure that your Warframe account and your Twitch account are linked. You do not need Twitch Prime for this, you just need a Twitch account that you are logged into while watching and it's linked to your Warframe account. If you are unsure if they are linked properly, relink them. There was an issue a while ago and, well, please unlink and relink your Twitch account. It is written right there. If you are having trouble, relink the two. So if you want this this week, this coming week, starting Monday at 1pm ET, Relink your accounts now, and then they should be good to go. You just log in, watch the stream, and get your hands on the Stalter. If you are playing this on PC, because this is not quite ready for console, um, I don't, I'm not going to say ready, I've got no idea if it's ready. It's not quite available on console yet. You can also install it through the Epic Game Launcher, where it is also free and get a hold of the shock rifle skin to go with it which is why I had to select this one and not this one plus this one is stupidly broken at the minute because not the not the weapon they did fix the weapon the build I had on this because I was playing with it a while ago and I haven't actually fixed it yet I keep saying that every time I equip this thing and then I take it off and put the CDO back on because I'm doing things with other stuff and I haven't got round to fixing this thing yet. So, I mean, it's doing gas damage. Why has it got gas damage on it? But, that's besides, builds aside, you can get the skin to go with it. That just makes this thing look like it should. Because that, that is, it's, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad looking skin. It looks fine. But... It doesn't look amazing. And then they release this one. This is what it should have been to begin with, but this is from Unreal Tournament. And it just, oh, I love that weapon skin. To be fair, I think I prefer the Ogres better. I just wish the Ogres had a secondary fire mode that shot all three rockets at once, like the game, the Unreal Tournament rocket launcher can. You can hold it down, load the rockets, and shoot three at once. That would have been great. I'd never actually checked if they, it has an alt fire mode with that. No, it doesn't. It, I do believe I tried that. I may have to go back and check on this. But the Stalter is an amazing weapon. This is why yesterday I did the whole Ivora thing, by the way. I was doing it anyway. Uh, somebody mentioned it when the Stalter first came out. But because this week, during the community streams... On Monday at 1pm you can get the barrel, Tuesday at 4pm you can get the stock, Wednesday at 10am you can get the receiver and on Thursday at 7pm, these are all Eastern Time or ET, you can get the main blueprint. Which means on Friday, if you do not have this weapon, you can get this weapon for free by just watching 30 minutes of any of these streams. I'm really tempted. But I have a second one anyway, which is weird because it disappeared a few weeks ago and now it's back. That has me really, really confused. Plus it's radial attack is absolutely amazing. I kind of, I really don't want to say fix this, but um, I finally bothered actually 
Changing the build a little bit, it does have that one empty mod slot from the missing mod, but hopefully one day I'll be able to get a hold of one of those. But yeah, 28,500 radial damage. That secondary really is absolutely amazing. Even if it still doesn't do half the damage that it, it used to. Oh, I miss that Riven so, so badly. It's still better than it was, but not as good as it could have been, or it should be. I'm so going to end up buying a Riven for this. I, I can see it coming, because I'm just not having any luck with the builds and being able to do what everybody else can, because the primary fire mode is actually doing more damage than the secondary is. Ridiculous. But you can get this free, all you have to do, twitch.tv slash warframe for 30 minutes or more all week and oh you're not going to regret it, this is a great weapon. The primary fire mode, secondary fire mode, it really really doesn't matter, this thing is just a monster and I love it. Goodbye. Ah, uh, you're not going to go... Ah, uh, oh, I took a magazine mod out. That's what was wrong with this thing to begin with. It had a, um, a magazine mod in it, and it was just seriously broken. It's getting there. It still needs a little bit more work. But, for now, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.